To find the factored form of this polynomial, the first step that we need to do is to find a zero of the polynomial. The possible zeros of this polynomial are factors of 6, which is the constant term, divided by factors of 1, which is the leading coefficient. Okay, the factors of 6 are 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 6, negative 6, and those of 1 are 1 and negative 1. So this is a huge trial and error process. We start by choosing one of these numbers and dividing by one of these numbers. So let's start with trying to see if 1 divided by negative 1 works. 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. To see if this works, we need to plug it into this and see if we get 0. Okay, if we plug it in, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, so this is minus 2. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, plus 6. So here we get negative 3 plus 11, which is 8. Since that's not equal to 0, that means that negative 1 is not a factor. I'm sorry, negative 1 is not a 0 of the polynomial. Okay, now we have to try another one. Let's try 3 divided by 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So now we plug 3 into the polynomial and see if we get 0. Okay, so we get 3 cubed, which is 27. 3 squared is 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. 5 times 3 is 15, so we get minus 15 plus 6. Okay, so 27 and 6, that's 33. Minus 18 minus 15 is minus 33, and that's equal to 0. So that means that 3 is a 0 of the polynomial. Okay, so using this information, now we know from the factor theorem that since 3 is a 0, then x minus 3 is a factor. So what we want to do is we want to divide x minus 3 into the polynomial. Okay, so in general you divide x minus the 0. Our 0 is 3, so we're going to divide x minus 3 into this polynomial. Okay, um, I think I would rather use synthetic division than long division to save time. So we put the number after the minus sign, then the leading coefficients, and bring down the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Add, multiply, add, multiply. We better get 0 because we just found that when we divide, we just found that 3 is a 0. So we know that x minus 3 is a factor. And so we know we better get 0 as a remainder. So what that tells us is that x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 3 is equal to x squared plus x minus 2. Or if we multiply both sides of this by x minus 3, we can write it this way. Okay, and then to finish factoring this completely, we just need to factor this portion. And to factor this, we have plus 2 and minus 1. So the complete factored form of the original polynomial is x minus 3 times x plus 2 
times x minus 1. Okay, so just to recap, what we do is we find a 0 of the polynomial, then we divide x minus that number into the polynomial to break it down. If this were degree 3, then we would find another 0 and continue to break it down.